what up everybody? It's your boy the Kryptonian saying here, bringing you a review for One Piece chapter 406. Good job, Frankie. Mike Guy approves. I love what Frankie did, man. Like, Frankie knew he was going to get double, double cross, right? Like, Frankie knew he wasn't going to get carried to the shore. So he had a plan, okay? For Kuro, it's like, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll get us to, to land. And for Kuro, starts sending them towards the tower, right? And Frankie plans for this shit. And after they have, like, the little back and forth exchange, you know, popping shit to each other, you know, Frankie gets told, like, yeah, you're going to go splat against the wall. And Frankie says, you know what, that's fine with me. Because now we're above land. We're good now. Like, what the fuck is Frankie going to do? And he's using those colas. And it's kind of like what Yusuke does with his spirit gun early on in Yu Yu Hakusho. He can only use his spirit gun a certain amount of times. And a lot of times, particularly in the dark tournament, he used them in very creative ways. Like, for instance, when he was fighting Jin, he fired it into an actual tornado in order to stop the pressure of the wind. That way he could take away Jin's ability and land the knockout punch. And that's exactly what happens here. It's a different scenario, but Frankie basically uses Fukuro's ability against him. Frankie is like, okay, air vent. All right, he's using the cola, air vent, bam, stops their, stops their movement, right? And he, for course, is caught fucking off guard. And Frankie uses the technique again, manages to one-shot this dude, send his ass flying to the ground. That was good. That was, Frankie, let me, let me just say this. I will be the first to say I've always looked at Frankie like a fucking idiot. Especially when we got those flashbacks. I'm like, man, what the fuck is this dude? And then in the last chapter, he's running around and he's being all wacky and shit. He's like, yeah, heat-seeking missiles. I just have to follow you around. And this chapter just showed me. And maybe I'm reading too much in this, okay? Because a lot of this has to depend on whether or not Luffy knew Gear 2 back then. But I really feel like if Frankie... Would have kept fighting Luffy. He might have been able to beat Luffy. Like if they were fighting. No bloodlust. I think he might have been able to beat Luffy. And maybe that's just me. That would be my chapter question guys. Did you think. Based off what you know about Frankie now. And where Luffy was at early in Water 7. Could Frankie have defeated Luffy. But I like that part of it. And what was really interesting. Is Oda continues. Continues on. And this is one chapter out the whole fucking volume he didn't troll us. I was expecting something. I was expecting something. I was like, Oda's going to do some shit. I don't know what he's going to do. Oda's going to do something. That's what I was thinking. Oda's was like, yeah, I've had too much fun writing all this other shit. Oh, let me get serious for a second. All right. Chopper. Strategy. Man, Chopper... Chopper's trying to swap hands with this dude. Chopper at one point is like, yeah, I, I heard about this. I read about this in a book. Octopus is he's pissing the guy off. Chopper's trying to think things through. Chopper's like, yeah, I can't use the rumble ball anymore because if I use it again, my body can't hold on to it. So now Otis is like, yeah, it's OP, but there's consequences to it. I love when he does stuff like this. It's really good. It shows us that these characters, they have limits. Even though they're OP as hell, they have limits. Unless they're Zoro. You know I'm touching on that in a second. But I love how Chopper is trying to assess the situation as he fights. And it reminds me of what I've always wanted Gohan to be, okay? Like, I've always wanted Gohan when he fights to use those smarts, okay? Like, be a... If you fight, just be a cerebral assassin. Just start picking dudes apart like crazy. Use that intellect, you know. Instead, you know, he just gets those moments. He flies into a rage like he did in the manga when he fought the Cell Juniors and doesn't say anything, just hunts them down. That's very close to what I wanted. Hunts them down. Guts. Gore all over the place. I want to see Chopper just have that moment where Chopper finds an opponent Kind of like what he did in Alabasta, where he finds an opponent, zeroes in on them, and just picks them apart throughout the whole fight. So, I'm I'm interested to see how Chopper is going to get out of the mess he's in. 
Now, I have to go back to Zoro. Because with Zoro, he's like, hey, Usopp, cut off your hand. Usopp's like, what? And he's like, yeah, one of us chooses who cuts the hand off. The other one runs. They find Chopper. Chopper sews it back on. And Usopp's like, we're not fucking stuffed animals, you idiot. And that's when he's like, okay, well, well, fine. I have another idea. Usopp's like, I don't want to fucking hear it. And that's when Usopp says, okay, that's it, that's it. I'm finding a lawyer. I'm going to sue you. This is, this is abuse because Zoro says, you're going to be my sword. While these two are fighting, not Zoro and uh, Luffy, not Luffy, Zoro and Usopp, Kaku and Jabra, while they're fighting, Zoro's coming up with something. So we might see some teamwork in this. This shit, this shit just keeps getting wackier and wackier. But that's it for this review, guys. If you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, share. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day, guys.